just uh, we're we're at Sun and Fine 2022, and we are at Scalebirds, um, and they have a new product. That Scott and Aaron are going to talk a little bit about it. So Scott, why don't you start out? All right, so uh, we're here showing off our Scalebirds replica of a P36 uh, Curtis style airplane. Um, it's an all metal aircraft, single seat. It's about 60% scale. And the original idea came from not really having something like this on the market that you could buy as a kit or build even as plans. Um, There's lots of stuff that was bigger, that needed bigger engines, was more expensive, or there was stuff that was smaller, but it was built out of wood, fiberglass, things like that. There was nothing that was like all metal, like a lot of other all metal kits out there that uh, we could tackle. So Scalebirds is a company that we started in Connecticut. We are based currently in Groton, Connecticut, near the Groton Airport. And we have a workshop there that is our machine shop and our sort of assembly space. And we've been in there for the last two years working on finishing up uh, this prototype. And so now the prototype is uh, structural complete, engine installation, everything is all in there. And we are now basically ready to start doing our flight testing. So the goal of Scalabur's concept is to have a modular airframe that we can then use and swap out for the different types of finishing kits that we would do on the aircraft. So by changing, you know, with the Hawk series here, we can show that you can do a P-36 Hawk uh, with a radial, or you can switch it to an inline engine and go with a, uh, a P-40, you know, you can do it as a Kitty Hawk or as a Tomahawk, and you can finish it out with different models. And then with a little more design changes on the wing tips and the tail, uh, we can make turn it into a Zero or we can turn it into a Hellcat. Um, and that gives us a lot of flexibility, gives the customer a lot of ability to you know, get what they want and, and the airframe that they want. And I think right now the radial engine uh, replica market is uh, you know, very underserved right now. So I think that's where we're aiming for it, but not precluding anything on the inlines. So for me, the, the critical thing about the plane was that I'm a designer. I'm not an engineer. Um, I'm a designer, I'm an artist. And so my perspective on it was, I know how to use 3D CAD. I know how to do kind of the proportions and eyeballing thing. To do a replica right, you have to change things. You can't scale it down 100% to 50% and fit a pilot. You don't get the same aerodynamics. You don't get the same uh, weight and balance with different engines. The volumes all change. So we had to accommodate for those changes um, while still making it look like the original fighter, or at least giving you the feel that it is the original in some way, or has the same spirit. So for me as the designer, it was key to model everything in a way that it looks right, but it still is a sport plane. It was a sport plane first that looks like a fighter versus taking a fighter and scaling it down and trying to make that a sport plane. So the plan being that uh, you can finish the aircraft with both the retracts or with the fixed gear. If you want to certify as an LSA, uh, you can finish the plane out lighter, put the, the fixed gear on, and with the same basic design center section, um, you can also put it on the retracts. Uh, yeah, the ultimately the retracts um, are kind of the standard design, and then the fixed gear is kind of uh, just a, a non-movable version of the retracts. So the way I got involved in uh, this project is my son was going to college at the Rhode Island School of Design and his senior project was to come up with a company, come up with a, a, a product and then develop all of the marketing for it and then put on a, a presentation to all the faculty. It went over so well with the faculty that they said you got to do this. So we're a dealer in the United States for Werner Motors and they're out of the Schumpert uh, Airport in Schumpert, Czech Republic, and uh, it's a, a father-son operation. They've been producing experimental aircraft engines for like 30 years. Um, they've been doing the radial engines for the last 11 years. So we, we created the, the P-36 around the Werner seven cylinder, um, but for the P-40 version of this, which is just a firewall forward difference, you know, you're looking at the Viking 150 is a, is a great option. Uh, Aero Momentum has an AM15. Um, those engines are, you know, 148, 150 horsepower. The, the weight is right in the zone. The, this 
size, this scale was picked for the, the amount of engines that are available. She's ready to fly. She's, she's not inspected yet. So when we get back from Sun and Fun, by the end of April, we'll be uh, all signed off with our DAR. And we're going to be uh, utilizing a flight test pilot. Uh, Elliot Seguin has uh, agreed to fly her for us. And it's probably early May we'll be getting our first flights. Um, we're expecting to do a full test flight program. And so by June, we'll have all of the numbers and we'll know how she does and how to adjust the design for the kit version of this. Um, and we'll be at Oshkosh Air Venture and uh, she'll be flying there. And uh, hope to see you there.